Joining us now on the Notre Dame Day hotline is former Notre Dame head football coach, my former head coach, Jerry Faust. Coach Faust began his career as a quarterback at the University of Dayton, spent 18 terrific seasons at Moeller High School in Cincinnati, and was named head coach at Notre Dame in 1981. Hey, Coach, thanks for being here. Hey, number seven. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great, Coach. It's great to hear your voice, that familiar voice that we all remember so well. For those of us, of those who are not familiar, can you share the story of how you became the head coach at Notre Dame coming from Moeller High School? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, very quickly, I'll try to do it, Steve. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you for all the years you did what you did at Notre Dame and how you represent Notre Dame to this day. You're truly a Notre Dame man outstanding quarterback and outstanding human being. And please tell your family I said hello. They're just a great group of people and I'm very proud that I had the opportunity to work with you. But uh, it all started back uh, uh, when I was a little kid. I used to sing the Notre Dame fight song uh, when I was in CYO football. And it was always my dream to play football at Notre Dame. So I played football for my dad at Dayton Shaman. I was a quarterback. And my senior year, uh, Frank Leahy offered me a visit up to Notre Dame. So I went up to Notre Dame and for the weekend against Southern Cal when they used to play on Thanksgiving weekend at Notre Dame. And I went up there, and uh, I uh, went to the grotto. I found the grotto beside, behind the basilica, and I said some prayers there and everything. And then I went there, and then we worked out. We were allowed to work out in those days. And so... He had about 150 student, high school student athletes there, and there was about 18 quarterbacks. And so I got in line to throw the ball, and after the first seven through the football, I knew uh, I couldn't play football at Notre Dame. They were all better than I was. So at that point, I said, well, if I can't play quarterback at Notre Dame, someday maybe I could be the coach there. So the second time I went to Notre Dame was, was when Era Parsegian was the coach, and Era I was coaching, and we uh, went up there, uh, brought our coaching staff up. We used to take our coaching staff at Moeller every spring to a different spot and sit down and talk with the position coaches. Our position coaches would talk with their position coaches, and I would talk to the head coach just to get ideas. So this time we went up there, Eric Persegian, who was a very close friend of mine to this day, and we went up there. So uh, I uh, spent time with there, and the second time, i have been to the grotto. So then the third time was when I was coaching the Moore. My wife came up to me and she says, uh, uh, Jerry, let's go to the spring football game. I said, Marlene, I don't have time. I'm AD and football coach, and I just don't have time. She says, well, we owe it to our kids. I said, Marlene, we spend quality time with our kids. She says, no, our kids are playing at Notre Dame. At that time we had six playing at Notre Dame from Moore High School. In fact, Moeller might have the largest amount of Student athletes that played at Notre Dame, I think it's around 26 to 28 from Moeller that played there at Notre Dame. So anyhow, we had six playing there. I said, fine, let's do it. So we go up there, and I said, we got to go to the grotto first. So we went down to the grotto, and uh, uh, I lit candles down there at the grotto for each one of my kids. That was three, one for my wife, four, and one for my mom and dad uh, each. So that was two that were living, my mother-in-law that was living, and then the eighth one I lit. I lived that if I ever became the head football coach at Notre Dame, I'd come to the grotto every day. I was in South Bend. Two weeks later, I get a phone call. It was from Father Joyce, and he told me he was going to be in town. So anyhow, he actually said, like, to meet with me. I said, sure, Father. And I knew Father Joyce and Father Esper because uh, uh, I'd spoken at places where they uh, were speaking. And so anyhow, I went down and I met with them. And we were shooting the breeze, talking about everything. And all of a sudden, he said, would you be, he says, Coach Dan Devine, his wife is, is not uh, doing well, and he has to move to a dry climate. And there's a possibility he may step down and move uh, to uh, uh, Arizona. And uh, he says, would you be interested in being the head football coach at Notre Dame? That's that was a, that, about three weeks after I left that panel. And I said, Father would be a dream come true. On November 24, 1984, I was named the 24th head football coach at Notre Dame. 
Coach, that, uh, that, that is an absolutely amazing story. I mean, I, I've heard it from you, but to share for these people, it's a spectacular. Can you tell us real quick, we're, all, we're short on time, can you tell us sure. what your expectations are for the Irish next season? What do you see out of this team? What do you think this team can do uh, on the football field next year? Well, I, I watched spring game on television, and I was very impressed. And uh, uh, I thought we have good speed. We have. I thought the kids played well. I thought coaches were doing an excellent job. And I, I you know, at Notre Dame, the one thing people got to understand: no matter what team you're playing, it's their biggest game, and you can't get up every week for a team. But when you have 11 or 12 teams looking, pointing to play Notre Dame, that makes it awful tough. So it's a tough job, but it's a great job. But I think they'll do very well. Coach is an excellent coach and has done an excellent job over the years. Uh, coach, I can't, can't thank you enough for making time. I always love getting a chance to say hello to you and sharing, reminiscing some great, great times. It was, wasn't all fun and games, but we had a lot of great times back in those days. We're going to throw it back right now, though, to Ryan Harris in Notre Dame Day Studio. Great talking to you, Steve. God bless you, my good friend. Take care, Coach.